Carolina Reaper. Go ahead, put it in your mouth. Go. Since the first time it was announced to the public that we are growing these, there are literally thousands of YouTube videos of people eating Carolina Reapers all over the world. Well, I get a kick out of most of them. I made a huge mistake. Though it can be unpleasant, it's not a dangerous thing to eat super hot peppers. Oh my God, it's only getting worse. It's a chemical reaction your brain perceives as heat, so you will stop doing it. I'm gonna go lay down. This sucks. I'm smoking egg curry. I created the Carolina Reaper. I got into breeding peppers in college and just really was interested in getting hotter and hotter peppers once I tried them. Guinness awarded me the world record for the hottest pepper in November of 2013. To breed these things, I crossed a ghost pepper with a habanero and what came out was this evil looking pepper. It had warts all over, blisters they call them. And the first time I tasted it, it knocked me to my knees. We get our peppers tested regularly at Winthrop University by Dr. Calloway in the chemistry lab. All peppers are measured by Scoville heat units, which tell you how hot the pepper is. Bell peppers have zero Scoville heat units. Jalapeno is about 5,000, a Serrano, 20,000, red habaneros, 200,000, ghost peppers, 600,000, then you get to the Carolina Reaper, which is 1.569 million Scoville heat units, the hottest thing in the world. When you eat the Carolina Reaper, the first sensation you get is sweet, and then all of a sudden the heat starts going. It's like burning, burning, burning. Then the physiological stuff starts. Your eyes will bloodshot. They just start tearing up and watering. The skin flushes. You start breathing hard. Your metabolism starts raising up. Some people say it's like eating molten lava. Others will say it's like licking the sun. To me, it's like eating a charcoal briquette. And no matter what you do, you cannot get that burn out of the back of your mouth. I mean, it's crazy. A lot of what I do is creative expression. You look for traits in one pepper and you look for traits in another and you try to combine them and keep both those traits. There are other breeders who are trying to break our record, but uh, we've been holding unreleased peppers in our back pocket that are twice as hot or more than the Carolina Reaper that we could submit to Guinness at any time. My perception of what the limits are of how hot you can breed a pepper has changed as the science has progressed over the years. Just tell me something can't be done. I'm going to figure out a way to do it.